Hi all, Terhi here. Uh, welcome to play with me with colors. I'm focusing on July main kit and July paper kit from Hip Kit Lab, and I picked up this gorgeous many colored uh, illustrated fate um, paper, and I added it on the background to make it sure that it would be the first thing you see in the layout with the picture, of course. And uh, we had lots of um, exclusive stuff from HipKit Lab, and they came with this little white back, so I used the back to add the little tag to give a place for the journaling because I don't really like my handwriting as many of you might know already but anyway so I like to uh, write my journalings on the back side of the layout or to some kind of back or whatever to keep it out of my sight anyway um, as you see here's the gorgeous paper and I'm just adding some little a green ink through the exclusive stencil which is from July color kit um, I'm using a makeup sponge to add some ink because I don't want to add too much it just some and uh, of course I want to keep something else to give this nice um, pattern on the stencil to give something special so I decided to give something yellow because yellow modeling paste is always a good idea. This is from one of the previous um, color kits. I think it was in last spring or something. Anyway, it's really nice and gives nice uh, shiny look for the layout. So I'm adding just some here and there to um, just about the same places than the ink, but not of course on top of the ink so as I had some green and pink thread uh, with my tag I thought to use the same threads on the background too to make it look balanced um, I'm adding just some there and some here and then I'm adhering my little paper cluster with uh, double-sided tape I used the papers from uh, July main kit and July paper kit. Uh, I thought these nice pink shades and yellow shades are perfect for this layout because I'm scrapping uh, a picture of my older, older daughter and her friend when they were little and they were playing and playing and playing and it's kind of uh, nice to use the color to match the theme of the layout. So I'm using um, 3D foam for two layers because it's much easier to take the um, tag with the handwriting uh, out of the pocket when you have this uh, thick layer to put it and where to get it. Um, then I'm adding the title. The title comes with three pieces. These are exclusive Epamera from the main kit. and. I also added one or two of these uh, exclusive uh, puffy stickers from HipKit Lab. They go nice with these papers, of course, because they are uh, designed for these papers, so they all go together very well. I added the same 3D foam behind the title pieces these little paper pieces because I wanted them to pop up too. It's really nice to kind of see the shadows behind the, the, the epamera pieces. So that's why I'm using the 3D foam all over and over again. I'm also adding this ampersand because it's so pretty and it gives something relaxing to see on the layout. It has these nice stripes and things like that. I also added the other epameras to be some to looks like look like uh, something playful for the page, and then of course some mist drops because you can't have enough of mist drops, right? Anyway, it was fun to do this 
funny playful layout and i hope you are inspired too um, we'll see you again with next week and i hope to have my august kids by then so we'll see you again and thank you for watching bye